Hi all, Terhi here again. Uh, this is my second layout with April 2016 widgets and I'm showing you some easy techniques with mists. Uh, we had this Simmers Colorange Mist. This is a tricky word <laughs> for Finnish, uh, Finnish people, but anyway, uh, I'm uh, dropping some mist to my work table. You can use a plate or something to be much neater than I am. And then I'm dipping the makeup sponge to this mist and adding adding this truth stencil. Tomorrow you take the mist to your sponge, the um, heavier look you get, but um, you can use uh, or try this to another paper before before adding to your pattern of paper so your cost up so you don't lose anything uh, if you haven't tried before this is a really easy way to to try mist and and try how how deep color you get um, with your new mist if you haven't used them before really easy to do uh, next I'm adding some wrap ons I really don't use a lot of wrap-ons because I, <laughs> I'm not good at that. I'm always wrapping everything off so you can see if, if I wrap one flower there there's a part of the word love next to it. But I don't care. I should cut the wrap-ons first and then wrap them to the paper but but well I'm too lazy for that. Anyway I'm adding these beautiful flowers uh, to the background to give some colors because I have this really special uh, photograph to scrap today. Uh, in the photograph is my puppy, surprise, surprise. Um, my puppy Moo and our horse called Lotte. Uh, they met for the first time and it's so sweet to see how animals do their Thing because normally not that the horse isn't that calm <laughs> all the time. She might be a little, uh, how do you say it, a little busy sometimes. And she wants to uh, know everything and see everything and and be be around everything. <laughs> she she's really busy sometimes. But when when she knows the other animal is a baby. She was so calm, so so nice, and she just snips her so slowly. And our puppy was like, "Oh my God, what that is? That is so big!" But she was in my arms, and then she was really relaxed when she noticed that the horse wasn't a monster; it was a horse, <laughs> and it all went well. Uh, but back to this page. Um, I use the Pink Fresh Studio uh, words to the background, just adding here and there, and I really love the way they are transparent, so I'm not um, leaving all visible, I'm adding something on top because they are nice things on, uh, on the background, giving some details and contrast and, and some dimension too. Uh, and then I'm using these nice puffy clear puffy stickers these frames and and things and last i'm adding these enamel dots which are from my mind's eye uh, i could add enamel dots or diamonds or pearls to every single layout i do but they are a nice thing to finish finish the layout um, another way to use the mist in our april color kits it is just um, add some drops like this um, you can use a brush if you wish because this uh, you might splash <laughs> a lot if you haven't tried this but um, I don't use a brush I like to use it this way but just click some here and click some there and then you have this nice detailed look for your layout uh, I hope you are inspired and I hope you uh, are uh, inspired to try your mists and, and well, I hope you like it. Uh, next week I'm 
answering one of your questions about how I do my paper cluster. So we'll see you then. Have a great day and thank you for watching. Bye.